welcome back to my channel. If you like to hear someone talk about cats, rats, dogs, or reptiles, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons down below because it's kind of what I'm here for. Today's video is just going to be another one of those random Wednesday upload videos that I've got going on for the next few weeks. Um, I've got Sookie here with me today helping me out. And today's video is just going to be some common questions that I get asked frequently. Um, either online or just by people in general. And the first one is, which animal requires the most amount of work? It's my dogs. My dogs, hands down, require the most amount of work. There's so much that goes into having dogs as pets, so much more than any of the other animals that I have, um, especially like I keep my dogs indoors and things like that. So um, you're constantly trying, I, I have incredibly intelligent dog breeds, so, you know, you just got to constantly keep them stimulated and whatnot. And it, it's a lot of work. Hands down, it's my dogs. Does your house stink? I get that question so much more than I would like to get it. And for that, I'm going to put a little card up here at the top. And I did a whole video on what I do to clean my house sometimes. But no, most people, when they come over, they're like, oh my God, I expected your house to stink and it doesn't. And I'm like, thanks. I spend a lot of time cleaning it every day so that it doesn't. It's that simple. Um, have you ever been bitten? That's funny. I don't think I've ever been bitten by any of my pets except for the rats don't really bite. Um, they've never come out and bit me. Sometimes they'll, they like to nibble on my ears. Um, actually one of the videos I uploaded in these little Wednesday series, you're going to see Oreo go after my ear. Um, but that's mostly because of the earrings and stuff that I have. And it's just fun to them more than anything. Um, it's never been personal. I don't think I did get bit by one of my dogs one time, totally my fault. Um, they showed all warning signs for me not to do what I did that led me to get bit. And it wasn't even a bad bite. I think they realized what they did halfway through. It was definitely a nip more than anything. But other than that, I don't think I've been bit by anything. I, I don't think so. Um, do you have any favorite pets? Yes and no. Yes and no. I absolutely adore the rats. So, I mean, maybe you would consider them a favorite. Onyx is my first pet that I've had the longest. He's definitely a favorite. My dogs are definitely a favorite. I really like how quirky my frogs are. I really like the personality my tortoise has. And I love my blue tongue skink. He's a blue tongue skink. And I love my bearded dragon because I've had him for a while. The iguana is really my husband's, but I love her because she's beautiful. So do I have a favorite? Yes, but all for different reasons. And probably each one has a favorite quality about them. Put it that way. If I could have any animal, what would it be? Honestly, if I could have any pet, and it's so crazy because it's actually a common, not common, but it is a kept pet, um, I would probably want some kind of big lizard. Caiman, a caiman uh, lizard always comes to mind. I want one so badly, but I know I cannot offer its basic needs, so I'm not ever going to get one, but a caiman lizard definitely comes to mind when I'm thinking of a pet that I really, really want. Um, it's just not realistic for me to have as one. If it came down to any animal in the world, it honestly would probably be a caiman lizard, maybe like an alligator, but I'm not trying to go there either. I don't know. And then best beginner pet. I hate it when people ask me what the best beginner pet is because my answer is always the same thing. It's whatever you want it to be as long as you've done enough research and you're 100% sure of yourself when it comes to keeping it. Uh, which animal is easiest to take care of? Any of my reptiles, any of them are probably so much easier than the rats, cats, or dogs. Yeah, because it's like once you've got their basic care set up, 
and like you understand how everything works. The most I have to do for them is spot clean. They do get a deep clean every now and then, but spot clean, feed them when it's time to feed them, missed who needs to be missed, turn on and off lights, um, and let them live their lives. That's the honest truth. Like I can't think of anything easier than that. Like they're super easy. They take the least amount of time out of my day to take care of. And those are all the questions. So super quick video and a little bonus video, a little Wednesday video. So Sookie and I are off to say that is all. If you have any video suggestions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below and I will look into it.